The focus of this study is on benefits today, benefits near term. While the FAA works to modernize our nation's major airspace hubs, a new study announced in Washington by GE Aviation shows bringing new, more efficient flight paths to our nation's regional airspace would mean a huge savings in its own right. We're talking about 13 million gallons of fuel, which is equivalent to almost 1,000 flights or over 1,000 flights from New York to L.A. with an airliner. 275 million pounds of CO2, which is equivalent to planting 1.4 million trees, and 65, almost 66 million dollars of economic benefit. That's the equivalent of about 1,600 middle class jobs. That's something I can relate to. And here's something else you're bound to relate to. The study shows implementing required navigation performance, or RNP, landing approaches at airports like Portland, Salt Lake City, and 44 others would save travelers a total of two years spent doing this. A fact that has GE Aviation eager to get to work redesigning flight paths at these mid-size airports, saying the sooner the better, given that air travel is expected to double in the next 20 years, experts say, causing costly delays equivalent to $32 billion. So we have airplanes equipped, we have pilots trained, we have airlines, a lot of airlines with operational approval now for RMP. We have existing tools and we have new concepts of operations that we can apply and the benefits are substantial if we can transition that success not just to these 46 airports that are in our study but bring that into the larger Metroplex operation. For me it's exciting and uh, I like to see it apply to more than just the transport category airplanes. So eventually everybody's going to be up there sharing the airspace and doing it in the most efficient way. And here's how that works. RNP uses satellite navigation to guide aircraft through very precise paths in the sky, saving precious minutes of flight time, enhancing safety, and reducing cost, emissions, and traveler delays. Here, regardless of the pilot, regardless of the day, the wind, the weather, these airplanes are flying these defined trajectories very precisely. GE Aviation is currently working with air traffic management providers on five continents, including here in the U.S. Now with new data in hand, the aerospace leader has set regional airports in its sights. Let's take knowledge and experience and let's use real benefit to begin this process, the social process of change.